Hello, I'm Trish Capitelli, Superintendent of Totowa Public Schools. Several years ago, the Totowa Public School System began implementing its one-to-one -one computer initiative. In order to provide our teachers with the help that they needed, we solicited the assistance of IDE, a professional consulting firm and a leader in designing remote and hybrid learning environments. Our vision was to create learner active, technology infused, or better known as LATIC classrooms in an effort to position ourselves for success in the hybrid learning environment. Throughout this process, teachers enjoy the flexibility to adjust and adapt lessons to improve the learning process. Our teachers have become the architects and facilitators who provide all students with access to a rich and academically rigorous curriculum. LATIC is based on 10 guiding principles, which research shows are present in successful classrooms. They include all students are expected to achieve at high levels utilizing the teacher, peers, and other resources to meet success. Problem-solving activities are the focus of the learning environment, setting a context within which to learn lower order skills. Students take responsibility for setting goals, scheduling time, utilizing resources, and making other decisions. Students engage in collaborative problem-solving and open-ended problem with peers working independently on subtasks. Technology is used as a tool and a resource to support learning and not seen as a goal unto itself. The following video will provide you with a window into a typical day in the LATIC classroom. Morning. If you look at Thursday, Thursday for problem of the week, it says, what is your favorite cookie? and why. So today you're just typing a sentence explaining to me which one of the cookies that Beth bought this week is your favorite. And you can go back. Where, where do we need to go to find those three cookies? If we go to Wednesday, does it tell us the type of cookies that are here? Yes. On Wednesday? Yeah, no. Or do we need to go all the way back to Monday? Because it tells you she got five sugar cookies. Um, six oatmeal cookies, and four sprinkle cookies. So which one is your favorite cookie? Oatmeal, sprinkle, or sugar? And type me a sentence, yes. Once you have finished that, what I'm gonna ask you all to do is to please take out your LATIC schedules, put them on your desk, and we're gonna begin scheduling our morning activities. On my schedule, I do it different every day because I want things to go, go faster. It teaches me when to do stuff. I do it different because it doesn't always have to be the same. I learn because I use my strategies to know my, my minuses and pluses. My favorite subject is math because it's all about numbers. Let's all complete step number one. I'm walking around to see. Only step number one, writing your first and last name. All right, boys and girls, who can tell me what is step number two? Kyan. Schedule, but before you schedule, let's see what we have for today. So everyone put their markers down and let's take a look at our activities. Who can tell me what is our required activity for today? Mariah? Seesaw. Seesaw. All right, boys and girls, once you go on Seesaw, I want you to click on that activity. Light bulb. Light bulb. There's always more than one way to practice your learning. And one of the ways that we practice is by using Seesaw. Seesaw is an app that we use in our classroom to implement lots of activities. Seesaw has many activities in all subject areas. We even use Seesaw as a way of assessment and as an online portfolio tool. So do you see your mailbox right here? If you click on your mailbox, you have it right here. I like to schedule it 
because it, it helps me write the numbers faster and I could get done if I just keep going. Daniel, what's our next activity? Get epic. Guess what, my friends? I assigned a book to you this morning. How we use it is where um, it helped us learn um, with like um, more activities. So like this is Seesaw, this is um, the reading app, and this is um, our sight words. And this is where we draw whatever we want and write our sentence. And this is where we... Um, do a, a worksheet, and then this is independent reading, which helps us the best about reading, and this is where we write our sight words with Play-Doh. Who can tell me the instructions for this worksheet? Go ahead, Daniel, what are the instructions? Um, you have to write the letter You have to write the missing letters. I like Get Epic because it's the best one that it helps me learn better. I police cars going to the police station because you already have a robbery. So my... So we're gonna begin our day with our required. Who can tell me what does required mean? Shayla, what does required mean? That means you what? What is it? You have to do it. Required means the activity has to be done. Now, do you have to do it first? Everly, does it have to be done first? No. no. You can schedule your required anywhere you would like on your activity list. So today, the lesson is actually going to be your workbook. So you can put your lesson. I think that I feel like working on my lesson second today. We now go to our choice activities. Your choice activities today are any one of the computer activities that are on your laptop. You can choose Pink Cat, Mega Math, or Splash Math. So you need to put in your, one of your time slots what you'd like to do. But I'm going to do my Pink Cat last because I want to get all my work done first and then I'll work on my activity on computers. And today it's going to be WB. So you can put Workbook because that's what you're going to have to do for your lesson. After that, we have a worksheet. Once you have completed your schedule and it is ready to go, please put it to the side. I would like everyone to take out your whiteboards for me and a marker. Write the addition sentence, and then using the same three numbers, I need for you to write a subtraction sentence underneath. Did somebody do it differently? Did somebody make a subtraction sentence and the numbers look different? Okay, are they related? They are related because they have all the same numbers. So right now we're in the math period. Students are working on their required choices. They have to follow learning activities first. So they do what the teacher assigns. The first part they would be working on is an interactive student edition. It's a video that walks through the activities for the chapter. When students are finished, they will be working on their workbook pages as well as following with a assessment that the teacher can use to determine how to pull small groups. An activity list is like something like you like have like a schedule like for the day for like that subject and like you'd have like required stuff to do and then you can like go on to your choices. I like them because it's like easier to learn and like you can do stuff independently. Well like a teacher can help you if you have like hard time on it but you do work independently sometimes and sometimes you don't. The students will have a skill that they're focusing on. So right now they're using multiplication facts. So they will work through a video, which is our Go Math curriculum. In this video, it focuses on the skills that they need to learn. Then they will follow with workbook pages that practice these skills. Okay, so you see here it's asking you five times 30. So that is what you are trying to solve. So what I would do is I would underline what they're asking you. So if it says five groups of three tens, you know how many jumps would be it? I think I learn better on the activity list than doing it with the teacher step by step because I can just do it faster and get it done. Students will after that follow with a formative assessment which is questions that help the teachers under, understand what the students know. So if we see that a student is struggling a little bit, maybe they would be pulled for one-on-one -on -one instruction or small group, 
or we would see that students really understand the task and they would be pulled for a challenge. I keep track of what I'm learning by putting in X when I'm done and then once I complete the required, I go on to choices and every single time I complete a choice, I put an X next to it. Right now, I am just walking around making sure that the students are understanding the skills. I also walk around to answer questions that they may have. So right now, he is working on part of the questions for the skill. So this will help him to learn the skill without me standing in front of the board teaching him. So with me facilitating and walking around the classroom, I can really see what he's getting or if he needs my help. The actual teaching is facilitating. So there's constantly different small group lessons that I will pull them and teach them. She does teach lessons in the board if like the whole if like the class is like having a hard time with something and like she can like um like come in like a small group with you if you like if it's like just a few people that have a hard time with something. The teacher can go on its computer um and like check um like what um what you're doing. The teacher can help you um, um, because um, she can see what you're doing and see if you're like struggling. Oh, because you didn't solve it. You have to solve it first. So that's why. How are we doing? Okay, so this is just a picture to show you. If you look, there's how many? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So right now we are in the math period. Students are working on their required activities. Right now, the student is working on the workbook problems and she needed my assistance, so I am helping her while other students are on a different task. The different task could be a video, it could be workbook pages, it could be the formative assessment, which is two questions that they have to answer about the skills that they have learned. And then this will help me understand if they did not learn it and they need further assistance. So at this point, I would be pulling the students that are having a hard time and I would be working in a small group lesson with them. This is the third school year of LATIC. The district will continue to implement and expand our initiative, which supports students working independently while teachers facilitate learning, ensuring maximum student growth in all subject areas. We hope you found this video informational. Thank you for taking the time to watch.